guys so today we're going to be doing a makeup tutorial and I got inspired because New Year's Eve is right around the corner and I think that it's like New Year's Eve is a time that you like to wear a lot of sequins a lot of glitter and it's just the time to be like very sparkly and I don't know I love it so I was thinking about a makeup look that would go perfect with New Year's Eve and I was thinking about silvers and then I was like, I've been wanting to do a tutorial for you guys using the Baked uh, Smokes from the Baked Collection from uh, Physician's Formula that I bought from CVS Drugstore. And so we're pretty much going to be using these three colors as the main attraction, I guess. And it's quite affordable. I'm not using anything high-end. Um, sometimes I don't even consider MAC to be high-end, but I'm using one of their eyeliners. Uh, that's the only thing. But you could definitely substitute the eyeliner for anything else obviously it's black so the glitter if you're wondering because I am gonna get questions about the glitter and the adhesive the adhesive I bought it at Sally's Beauty Supply you can go in there and just ask for Sally's Beauty Supply glitter just ask for the Sally's Girl actually it's not Sally's Beauty Supply well it is it's sold at Sally's Beauty Supply but it's Sally's Girl and it looks like this Make sure that when you pick it up, it says adhesive because they have bottles in the same container that look just like this, but they're actually lip gloss. That's not going to work. And about the glitter powder, this one I got it at Claire's. And you can see it's a pretty big container. You get a lot of it, and it's actually very, very fine. I always thought that it was chunky for some reason, and then I open it up. I'm like, this is actually very small and fine. So you can use it for um, your eyes, and it's going to look really nice. So you can just layer it on. So that's that. And... Pretty much, that's it. Let me just give you a close-up, just in case you do want to <laughs> do it. Um, here's the makeup. Here are the eyes, which is the main attraction. So, if you want to do it, keep watching. Okay, so I will talk to you guys later. Enjoy the video, and thanks for watching. Bye! I'm going to start off with my eyebrows, and I'm using my Milani Brow Fix Kit in number 2. And I'm also using um, brow number two and this brush here by Anastasia, which is number seven, and it has an angled brush. So I'm just going to do small, short strokes so they can appear like real hair. And I'm going to fill them in, taking the spool end and then just blending it out like that. I'm taking an e.l.f. primer. And this is for the eyes, and it also has like a sealer on the other side, the other tip, which is like um, just if you want to turn any eyeshadow into um, eyeliner. So, anyways, I'm taking the other side, and it has a eye primer, which is nude, and I'm gonna rub this all the way up to the brow, like that, and then just take your finger. And blend it out okay so these are the actual colors that we're going to be using today and I bought this at CVS and this is actually um, from Physicians Formula and it's called the baked smokes you could actually use these wet because the intensity increases like 10 times more when you use um, these eyeshadows wet but the first one that we're going to use is this one here which is the lightest silver and we're not going to use it for a highlight, but we're going to use it for an all-over lid color. I am going to take a flat shader brush. We're going to use Avian Facial Spray, which is just a facial mist. And this is the brush, um, the SS239 by Sigma. I'm just going to spray it a little bit. And I'm just going to go in here and pick some of the eyeshadow up on both sides. Place this on the lid you don't have to worry about fallout especially because it's wet so even if you wanted to do your foundation first you could do that the gray one here and that one is gonna go into the crease and a little bit above so like around that general area you can do the same thing just get your avian facial spray Spray it just a little bit and then go into the second lightest color. This is actually a brush that I got from Sonia Kashuk um, as their limited edition collection at Target. 
And those are the brushes that I'll be using today, just in case you're wondering. I thought they went well with this look, so... They're all silver. Okay. So I'm going to try to keep this like inside of the whole eye. Like I don't want it to come out all the way over here. So the highest point is going to be right up here by the peak of my eyebrow. I'm going to wet this brush. And as you can see, this is kind of like a small um, pencil brush. And just going to get it wet. And then we're going to go into the black, which turns really black. But if you don't put that much, it's just going to turn into like a really, really dark gray. Because that's pretty much what it is, a dark gray. And this is going to go into the crease area only. Just go back if you want to build up the intensity. And this one, you want to make sure it's completely dry because we're going to blend it out because obviously we don't want to have that obvious line there. I'm going to let that dry and I am going to do, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to do the highlight. And for the highlight, I'm using um, this NYX eyeshadow and it's called Skin, which is a really pretty color, especially for highlight because it tends to have like this pinkish undertone. It's not like silvery white or anything like that. So I'm going to take a fluffy brush like this one. And with this one, it actually tends to be quite loose. So just kind of dip it in there and tap off the excess. And then pat it right underneath the eyebrow. Like that. And now, I'm going to take the same brush. I'm not going to use for a highlight anymore. You can go in here and blend this color out. For the last touches of the eyeshadows, we're going to use a small little tapered pencil brush like this and we're going to go in with the darkest black and this I'm going to use it dry but this is going to go in to the bottom lash and then go in with this one right on top the first one and that's going to go in the middle inner tear duct and all the way to the middle we are going to take a pencil eyeliner and rub that in there, rub it onto the lashes. Next, I'm going to take a liquid eyeliner and this is the L'Oreal Linear Intense. And I'm going to just line my top lid. After that, you want to take a concealer brush and this one is by, um, this is the concealer F70 by Sigma small synthetic bristles and you're going to need glitter adhesive and this is by Sally's Girl. You can find it at Sally's Beauty Supply. I'm actually just going to take it right onto the brush like this. Put some on there. Not that much. And what you want to do is choose your glitter. You can find glitter pretty much anywhere but I bought this like a year ago and this is actually by Claire's. Found it at Claire's. I don't remember for how much, but you get a lot of it. Alright, so we're going to take our brush and we're going to dip that in there. Just that little piece of gel, the adhesive. And then you want to tamp off the excess. I'm actually just going to take my hand and place it right underneath. And now you want to pat down the glitter to the lid area only. If you're very careful, you won't have any fallouts of glitter. So, just take your time in this step. But this is my favorite step. Because your eyes just look like they're ready for a party. New Year's Eve, you know? I think I might do this, actually. I think I might. I think I am. Alright, so now you can definitely see how glittery and pretty it looks. So after that, I'm just going to take some eyelash adhesive so we can glue on our lashes. And I am going to use my e.l.f. Dramatic Lashes today, which look like this. Very long and wispy, dramatic, very pretty. So just take some eyelash adhesive and 
put it on the back of something that's clean. I'm just going to put a little bit, like that much. And while the glue gets tacky, I am going to do my concealer, or actually my foundation. So let me zoom out. And for foundation, I'm using the Dream Satin Liquid Foundation. And if you're wondering what shade I am, I'm in Sun Beige 48, like that. So it's a little bit darker than this actual skin tone, but it matches my neck and the rest of my body. So it goes really perfectly. So anyways, I'm going to take a powder brush from the same collection and just brush off any glitter that did fall out. <clears throat> and I'm just going to take it directly on the back of this concealer brush. And this brush is so amazingly soft. So, I'm going to take one pump. And I know it seems like a lot. And it actually is, but for nighttime, you're obviously going to wear something like this for the nighttime. So I like to have like full coverage. So I'm going to take my concealer palette, and this one is from Coastal Scents, and I'm taking this color right here. I'm just going to take a little bit with the same brush and just kind of pat it down wherever you think you might need. A little bit more coverage like me like on this area so it's a little bit darker but we're gonna blend it out all right so now I'm gonna let my foundation sit for a little bit and then just gonna take this dial up mascara by Almay and using number one dial I'm just gonna do one coat and then put them on okay and just fix them Alright, so now I'm taking this eye concealer, and this is by CoverGirl. I'm in number 220. This, like seriously girls, if you ever try this one, every time you put it on, it's going to feel like so cold. It feels really good. I love it. And it's like so easy to put on. Like so blendable. And then we're going to set our makeup and our foundation. And I'm using the High Definition Powder by e.l.f. And it's just in a clear powder, clear shade. <laughs> and I'm taking this highlighting brush by Sigma. I'm just going to take the little powder puff. And all you got to do, actually I'm not taking this brush, my bad. I'm taking this one here by Sonia Kashuk. And you can just take it and stipple it. You're going to pick up some product for sure. Okay. You tap off, kind of set it in like this first. And then buff it out. So then I found this blush. It's a really pretty shade. It's by Rimmel and it's in Sienna. And I really, really like this one. So we're going to use it today. Now I'm taking the highlighting brush. And we're just going to add a little bit to the apples of the cheeks. So now I'm taking my EOS Lip Balm. And I'm going to put some on. And I'm going to take my eyeliner. Again, the liquid eyeliner. And I'm just going to line the top of my eyes. Um, I'm using a new lipstick from e.l.f. And it's called Rosy Tan. This is from... One of the new ones I featured in my haul video. And it's a really pretty color. It's not too much. It's perfect. So let me just give you a close-up of the eyes. So you can see how glittery. Oh my god. So in love. And then I just paired it up with some rosy pink um, cheeks and lips. So that pretty much completes the look. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will talk to you later. Bye!